Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode of my Elk Mountain Let's Play semi roleplay series. We have skipped a few months. Um, we have just planted our fields a few months ago, and we are ready to harvest now at this point to get the grass yield field harvested. As you can see, it's the middle of fall. We got beautiful foliage around the area. We um, spend a few hundred dollars on surviving every month, but nothing we can't handle. Um, from season to season while we wait for a harvest to come around. We don't have a lot of expenditures happening too much. We lose maybe a few hundred dollars over the course of each season. So we were able to make do with that, with our equipment that we have right now. We are set to go to start cutting, wind rowing, tedding, and picking up our hay. Because right now, as it stands, <clears throat> We could sell grass for $114 a pop. We could sell hay for up to $142 a pop in the same location. And straw, we're not ready to make yet. One of these days we will do straw when we get things off our fields. Um, and silage would be appropriate at some point, but we just don't have a way to convert our stuff over. We need a silage uh, way to make either silage bales which I think will be something we can consider um, I don't know that we can wrap silage bales if they are made with a small silage the small bale maker so let's see real quick um, balers here we have the one that makes the small ones uh, here's another one that makes small ones and then we have these here that make traditional round bales um, this one here round bale round bale round bales and then a, a bale wrapper packs grass I think it says the bale wrapper too so that would do us a solid for that um, this is for poplar so yeah we don't we don't really have a way to wrap bales other than a couple of these machines here we could make bales relatively cheaply once we save enough money with this or this I should say to make small bales that we collect um, of our straw or hay and then deliver them immediately but I'd like to wrap them the question is is can we do oh, it's round bale loading bale wrappers this one does round bales this one does round bales this one does square bales but only square bales of a certain size this one does square bales only of a certain size yeah there's no way to wrap these smaller bales um, we would definitely need to make the bigger bales um, at some point which is kind of a shame we just don't have a choice but to do round bales, so we have to save up quite a bit. Um, we at least need to save enough money to use one of these two bale wrappers. Um, they seem to be identical. Um, this one just requires more horsepower, so we'll use one of these two at some point because our machine can handle it. Your hammer machine can even handle this one too, but we'll pick one of these two once we reach $30,000 after harvesting our hay. So we um, last episode, if you guys remember correctly, we went and did a contract to earn us ourselves a little bit of cash to survive the season. Um, we cultivated a field. Um, so now we are ready to do our own thing. Let me turn this off so we don't see it. We are ready to do our own thing to start cutting our field um, that we've planted. And it's a decent field. We should get a couple of loads so a few thousand liters each see um, how well this does our job for us of cutting our field um, it looks like it's gonna cut it's cutting everything including the field next to it but that's fine we could do the majority of our work with this and we'll, we'll do a couple laps ourselves before we hire a local to do the job Luckily, we live in a town in which there is some desperate work, and we have a few thousand bucks at hand here that we can afford a couple hundred dollars to send away to a local young guy who wants to do the work. So we are just cutting the field to our liking here. We'll do one pass around the outside. is turning out it's turning out pretty good we're getting quite a bit of grass off of it so that's good can't wait till we start tedding question is is do we ted first or do you uh windrow first i would think you would want to windrow it first 
I don't think it really matters in the long run, but we're just going to do a couple passes around the outside here, and we will then hire our worker, and then we'll we'll do a little bit of a time lapse with some music uh, that we you guys can hear, and we'll see how that goes. But first, let's finish off this field's first pass. We might do a second pass. We probably could do with you know, doing a second pass, so let's hire a worker. And he's doing the job. We'll uh we'll keep an eye on him for a bit, make sure he does a decent job of going back and forth along the field. Um and uh we'll do a quick time lapse and we'll check in with you guys when he's uh done cutting. Um or if not the release, we'll just check in once the the tedding and everything else is done too. Well, is he cutting anymore? He's still cutting. Okay, good, good. Ah, oh, there's a mispatch. Whatever. Pretty decent job. Yeah. Alright, guys. We'll check in with you soon. Take it easy.
All right, everyone. It looks like we have finished with all of our steps. We wanted to stop, stop in and check in with you guys about our first load. So our first load is going to be 16,100 liters of hay. It is raining. Not that it has any effect on anything right now. We are collecting this, and we are going to go see what we can get. So let's see. Will the season for hay change? Or because if it if it stays the same, I mean we don't have a place to store it, so we kinda of have no choice but to get rid of it. So let's go check. We buy hay, wants hay for 141, and that's on its way down. Fluctuations, we are in November, December. So we are in that state where we're at the max. So, so we are perfectly timed this. We have to get to we buy hay. So let's find out where that is on our map. The feed store, Furt, we buy hay. I don't know if there's another we buy hay. I don't think there is. Yeah, no. So we have to get to this end of town because this is the annual dealer. So we buy hay is all the way over here. Um, and we're just gonna drive it over there and see what we can get. So if we have 16,000 liters, and we're gonna get 141, 140 dollars per liter per thousand liters. So we could do a little bit of math there and figure that out. So let me pull out my calculator on my phone. Calculator, $140 times 16,000. So that means 16,000 liters so times 16. We'll get $2,240 roughly for this load. So that means if, if I estimate correctly, we got three, row, two and a half rows out of that. And those are the short rows. So it looks like about every two rows or so, we will get a full um, trailer load. And so we probably can get like four to six. It's my estimate number of trips out of this. So if that's the case, we can easily um, get what we need here uh, four to six times over. So if we get four, to six times out of the twenty-two hundred dollars that we're gonna get, then that's you know a decent chunk chunk of change, and we may be able to afford our first baler. Cause not that we want to bail it yet, but once we can bail it, then we can get a wrapper afterwards, or we could spend the money on a silage. Uh, barn, or I guess you can call it a silage barn, oh, by the way, speaking of, we have reached this stage here, I want to open up this so we can see our road, so we know when we can put on our auto drive situation here, luckily auto drive figures out that the main road is a main pathway, so that makes it easier to sell our hay, but yeah, so we should get 2,000 times 6 somewhere between four to six times we get eight thousand to twelve thousand somewhere in money here and eight thousand to twelve thousand would be a decent chunk of change do we have any contracts that would make this better actually is there a supply potatoes okay are there any other supply options here Supply canola, cotton, butter, potatoes, no, no supply of grass or hay, so that doesn't change anything. So unless if we get some contractor uh, subscriber um, jobs that somebody wants to offer us, particularly for the hay we're making, we are going to have to just continue to sell to the We Buy Hay location at the price that they're offering. And we definitely want to get this done today before the price changes, so we are going to make these trips until everything is sold off and we will check in with you guys um, when it's all done but first let's do the first load together and see if my estimates were correct I don't want this turn I want the next turn and I'm gonna also do my auto drive here so we can set up a auto path auto drive path for us so we can take breaks go to the restroom and all this other stuff <laughs> Because this is a tedious task to do. Now we didn't have to hire workers. We spent about like six hundred dollars doing that, I believe, for the worker on this field. But you know, this part's gonna be all us. Oh, slow down, slow down. 
I need you to, there we go. Start recording. We'll link you up later. I'm just doing a loop here real quick because we want to connect up with this loop. We'll do a real quick connection here. Recording. Okay, so we now have a way to go to and from. We just need to label this. We'll just call this the feed supply. stop and then we will also turn back on our recording here this is where that we can sell our hay so we will turn this into a location to drop we'll call this we buy hay let us go ahead and sell what do we get for roughly 1,600 liters? 16,000 liters. Am I getting more than I thought? All right. No, just about what I thought. 2,200 is what I estimated. Okay. Rejoin back up. Morning. Join you back up, and now we could send you back to the farm. All right, so that's about the money we got. We got about twenty-two hundred dollars. We're going to do this until we finish, and we'll do a time lapse for when we're done. Um, let's make sure this turn happens like the way we expect. It seems to be doing it. Yeah, great. All right, turn off this. And enjoy the uh, time lapse until we're done. Take it easy.
All right, everybody, we're back. We are finishing our last load, I believe. If we get anything off that we missed before, it's not going to be enough for us to bother bringing back, so we'll just keep it in the trailer. <clears throat> but we got several loads out of here, and I guessed around 2200 per load, and we are probably around um, going to be at 17000 after all of this, uh, 18000 or so. So we definitely doubled our money. We went from around 8000 ish to 16000 17000 Yeah, we're a little bit more than double out of our money. So that was our goal today. We are going to go finish selling this today. Um, and we are going to come back, take a nap, and wake up the next day with the intentions to prep the field um, for the next harvest. Um, from what it looks like, I'm going to go ahead and put this into auto drive for a second we can take a look at what needs to be done in the field to get it ready for the next harvest take a look at the field real quick so there it is it is a grass field it has been planted doesn't need anything done with it other than maybe another fertilizer state rolling is mostly okay there is some lime on the edges there but we missed but we do not need to roll it which is fine and the fertilizer state, I just I guess we'll just get some fertilizer down on it because it is not fully fertilized. That's all. I like how there's like these areas of land here that are fertilized, it looks like. Um, but yeah, so we are going to do a fertilizer state with our fertilizer before the end of the day today. And um, that will be the end of it. So we, we don't need to show you guys that. You've seen me doing fertilizer before in previous episodes. So if anybody does have any ideas for a contract that we could do, you see the equipment that we have, maybe we could rent some equipment, lease some equipment to do some work, whatever you think. Um, you know, I just want to start making some money with this character, with this, uh, this person here. You know, Chuck has been trying his hardest to get his way going and we are, we are just starting to make some headway and we may be able to afford a baler, it looks like. Um, yeah, we can get a cheap baler if we wanted to, but we're not quite there yet for the larger balers, so it might take us a couple harvests. So, what if we don't get a uh, subscriber contract within the next episode, we will go ahead and continue to do this harvest for several seasons until we reach our $30,000, or actually we'll get enough to get the $30,000, and then getting a bale wrapper. So this is our baler that we need, and then we need a bale wrapper, so... Um, we're not, unless we want to get the 70,000 teeth, we can get a bell wrapper on top of that. I think we could for 22,000. This is round ones. There's a inline wrapper is used to wrap multiple bells together in one tube. Ah, ah, that's cool. That's very cool. That's not what I want. I just want to wrap them normally. Um, no, no square ones too. So we're just going to get the traditional bale wrapper for twenty-two thousand, and then we're a regular baler for thirty thousand. So we need to get to fifty-five thousand bucks, and we'll work around that so that we can pay for it. Um, and once we get there, oh look at that! Turn the lights on for me to do the unload. It's pretty cool. I didn't turn them on. Um, and once we get to that stage, we will uh, we'll return with you when we got the ability to make silage, and we'll show you how we work through that. Um, in the meantime, if you have any great ideas for what we should do with our uh, for contracts, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a message below uh, in the comment section, and we'll take care of your contracts. Um, Chuck is a busy man, but he has the time to help out neighbors, and he's willing to help. Twenty-two hundred bucks again, eighteen thousand dollars. So we can head back to the farm and do our fertilizer. All right, guys, thanks for checking in. It's been great, it's Chuck Thunder, and we'll see you next time.